Modo's Mesh Paint tool has been brought up to date and enhanced, allowing you to quickly bash out models in environments faster than ever before. Mesh Paint has been in Modo for a very long time, but it needed some love to realise its true potential. As well as a number of significant bug fixes, the workflow surrounding replicated and instanced geometry has been streamlined, allowing Mesh Paint to now take full advantage of these memory saving item types. Along with these fixes, a number of additional features have been added. It's now possible to define a scale increment. This relates to when working with the drop paint mode. By setting a value, the object will be scaled at those increments as it's placed in the scene. A number of new paint modes are available. Linear allows you to draw a line and clone, replicate or instance objects onto a surface along that line. Array allows you to draw a grid across a surface and then clone objects onto that surface which are placed at the grid intersections. And finally, Radial allows you to draw out a circle and have objects cloned onto a surface around that circle. Placement of the objects is based on the screen axis, and they all work with snapping and symmetry. Probably the most significant change affects not only Mesh Paint, but any duplication tool that uses the preset browser. Duplication tools have been able to use Mesh presets as source geometry for a while, but in 12 you now have the ability to use random presets. By selecting a range of presets in the browser and setting either the clone, replica or item effector to random preset mode, those objects will be selected randomly for duplication. This ability, coupled with replica or instanced mesh painting, allows you to generate incredibly complex scenes at incredible speed.